Hello, Taris. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you guys doing? I haven't been on for a while. I've not been well. I've not been well. I still feel bleh. Oh yeah, I love having shakes. <laughs> How are you today? I am functional. <laughs> I'm functional, but you'll find that I'm a bit slower than normal. I didn't put my bed away. We're having a lazy day today. But yeah, I am functional today. Um, yeah, I'm functional. I'm functional. I gotta earn that bread. I don't have the luxury of having loads of money aside to. Yeah, I can't let this shit fuck me over. I missed you guys. Uh, I'm probably gonna lie down in a minute. Uh, it's very warm in my room. I should open my window. How was everyone's week? Thing. How was how was everyone last week? I missed you guys. Let me just change over to some lofi. Still working as always. So, you wanting the bread? You wanting the bread? Who's on? Should we see who's on? I am very all over the place. Please be patient. Yeah, I've been very all over the place. Also, I added some compress I added a compressor to my microphone and also a noise gate. So Yeah, I added a noise gate to my uh I added some um features to the mod mic to reduce the shit it could pick up. I also straightened it because I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, so I added some stuff. My tracking is not liking me right now because I'm very in my room. But I'm very up and down. I, I'm very all over the place. This isn't going to be a long stream. This is probably not going to be a long stream. I'm still not 100%. Streams are not going to be consistent. Um... <clears throat> streams aren't going to be um, as long as they used to be. There we go. Yeah, streams are probably not going to be very as long as they usually are. I'm not 100% here. Um, you'll probably notice that I'm a bit up and down, probably slurring my words here and there. Um, usually I will slur my words if I'm really tired or not on and I woke up this morning way earlier than normal and I struggled to sleep again. I'm developing insomnia. <laughs> Let's go. I'm getting into the insomnia arc of my streaming career. Let's, let, let's go. That's cool. I actually miss you guys. One of the reasons why I actually really wanted to stream today is because I genuinely hate, I, I love what I do. I'm gonna say, it. I love streaming. I love talking to you guys. I love seeing how you are and not being able to stream actually really hurts my mental state more than anything um but i can't just sit still as you probably saw during the starting soon screen i updated some stuff and if i go to my brb okay i need to adjust the size of vr chat but i have snake I have snake and it will just keep going. It will chase the emotes. I added things to the stream. See, I need to adjust the size of the VR chat screen though. Ending screen as well. Got a bit of, got a nice little update. I need to adjust the size of this one still. Don't hate me. I haven't been on VR properly. Starting soon screen. The starting soon screen, yeah. And then VR chat. Same as it was before. 
little updates. Also, we've updated the code on this, but I'm waiting for one little tweak because it's difficult to use. Um, yes. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm very up and down. I'm not 100% all here. I'm still very... Uh, the best way to describe how it f how I feel right now is... It's like... Physically, it feels like my body has accumulated, like... It's like I've drank loads of coffee. And the acidity is just sitting there, just going... Yo, I'm still here. Like, the coffee part is run its course. The acid part of the coffee is just sat there going, Yo, I'm still here. What, what do you want to do? Do you want Do you want more coffee? I'm, I'm here. I'm like, motherfucker, I want to fucking sleep. It's like, and when I eat, it feel, I get nauseous, like, instantly. Like, any time I eat, it's just a no-go for anything afterwards. I'm very up and down. The best way to describe it is, it's like I'm, it's like watching TV, but you see everything, but it's slightly blurry. It's like you've got a brand new TV and you haven't quite tuned it in yet. That's how I'm feeling. I feel like a TV which isn't visually tuned in, like fuzzy and glitchy and uh, and my stomach is very up and down at the moment. It's very much, if I'm stood up, my stomach wants me to just not do anything. If I lay down, it kind of goes away. Um, that did not last long, did it? So you feel lightheaded. I don't feel lightheaded. I just feel... Uh, it's not lightheaded. It's my, my with the whole myself as being glitchy it's like I'm here but I'm not here it's like there's a lag make sense it's like I, I, I feel confused all the time um, if you're just tuning in welcome to the stream I'm hoping you enjoy your stay here uh, welcome to the stream thank you for joining me um, but if you're wondering what's going on, right now the UK is going through a really annoying hormone uh, HRT shortage. If you didn't know, me is the big footer. Me is Futanari. Um, I am transgender. Um, and right now in the UK, right now in the UK there is a shortage. Do I have the smooth thing on? I do. Um, right now in the UK, there is a hormone shortage, a HRT, a hormone replacement therapy shortage. My body has no hormones, or it's extremely, right now it has very low hormone levels, um, because the estrogen my body has ran on for the last, like, five years is not available. I'm going to try a different pharmacy tomorrow. I'm going to go out. I'm going to try a different pharmacy because my dad told me that my nan, who has obviously gone through their menopause, um, is on HRT and she gets hers from Boots and apparently they have a completely different network. Um... Oh yeah, Dakota, don't worry. I know I'm suffering from insomnia. I didn't, do it. I didn't get to sleep till four last night and I woke up at nine. Don't worry. <laughs> It's been me every night for the past, like, two weeks. Um, but yeah, when my hormones are very much up and down because of the shortage, I'm very... I'm very lost. I'm very confused. Um, Cal has been very much looking after me. Thanks. Um, th thank you, babe, if you're here. Thank you so much for looking after me. I love you. Mm -hmm. um, but... God. Um, I want to keep that open. I'm going to keep that open. Oh, it always wants to be in front, doesn't it? Okay, that can close. But yeah, um, HRT shortages, mental confusion, I feel very lost all the time. Um, energy is very up and down. I'm horny 
constantly at the moment. But I don't want to do anything about it. I'm like, I really want to go to town on a huge dildo or cow. And I feel very much I want to, but I kind of don't want to. It's very confusing. <laughs> but my body is very much like, you woke up this morning. Nice. Time to go back to bed. I'm like, what? The fuck? I'm really but I can't sleep. I go to bed. I can't fall asleep. I fall asleep and I wake up. It's like, time to go back to sleep. I'm like, I need to stream. <laughs> So yeah, I've got a schedule I want to stick to. Um, if you don't know, if you're a, join the Discord if you haven't yet, please join the Discord. Um, there is a schedule on there. I will be keeping you guys up to date with what's going on and how I'm feeling. If you ha if you don't want to bother joining my Discord, you could always follow me on Twitter. I post sexy things every now and then um, and shit post stupid memes. Um, like you want to do it, but it's too much effort for you to, for your body to do it. Exactly. I'm like, I want to get it. I want to get railed, but I know the uh, level of effort required to get railed and my brain goes, ugh, no. Oh, and I haven't been in VR and until last night, I haven't been in VR like all week. I'm going to lay down. I'm going to lay the fuck down. Ugh. There we go. Oh, and standing up is awkward as fuck. <laughs> Yeet. Okay, maybe not deep. Let's go shallow. Hello? Tracking? There we go. Tracking. Hello. Oh, I just laid down. They're probably gone by now. Fuck them. They're not my problem. I don't want to go. I don't want to stand up. I'm too shit. I'm, I'm fucking crappy. Oh. I'm, a, I'm functional. I'm not going to get the fucking door. <sighs> My dad orders shit to come for the weekend and the delivery people are like, Yo, it's Wednesday, let's order it today. I'm like, no, or send it on the weekend when my dad tells you to. Don't fucking dump it on me because you're assholes. Because my screen. There we go. Yeah, this is probably going to be me or stream. If anyone redeems stretch, I'm just going to accept it and not do it. I am not standing up. I'm not got the mental capacity. It might be more hormones. No, nope. no, nope. I don't get my shit delivered. I don't get my shit delivered. I genuinely have to go out to get my stuff, but I'm not going to the door. I'm not going to the door. Standing up was awkward for me on a good day. In this state, I feel very... Fuck em. Fuck em. Nine times out of ten, it's shit they can post through the fucking door. It's... I literally have had it before where it's... I've gone, oh, I'm starting my stream, everything's fine. I literally go downstairs and boom, it's the fucking neighbor asking, oh, have you got a delivery? Do you have any sugar? I'm like, no, I do not have sugar. We, my dad's diabetic and I don't like the stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm not going for the fucking door. Fuck them. I, I, I'm sorry. My dad orders shit to come for the weekend and the delivery people are just like, you know what? I think I'm going to do it today. I just realized I should switch my thing, my tracking over to my head. There we go, it's looking at me now. Oh. oh yeah, and I've had a constantly blocked nose. I've had a constantly blocked nose over the past like two weeks. It's horrible. I'm gonna have loads of people trying to join me. I haven't been on much. 
My eyes are not wanting to look at the camera. They're very much everywhere but the camera. What the fuck? Yep, that's us delivery companies for you. Oh, I'm not from the US. I'm from the UK. <laughs> they should deliver on time. They should just deliver when they're told to deliver. Oh, how long have I been on? Oh wait, yeah, that's out. Uh, you, you're what I need. I've been on for 20, okay. But yeah, I'm gonna be trying to stream as long as possible, but I'm not, it's gonna be extremely chill today. So much has happened in the last week or so. Will Smith slapped the dude at the Oscars. Uh, Will Smith slapped the dude at the Oscars. Um, war crimes happening in the in the Ukraine, like way more than people seem to think. Like fucking. Jesus Christ, it's so much worse than anyone thinks. They are lit. The Russian troops are fucking going complete scorched earth. Um, what else has happened in the last week? I'm sorry, there's a little. There's firefly things on the ceiling and this sparkly. This is sparkly. Um, but yeah, a lot, it feels like a lot's happened this week. I have been playing Elden Ring. It helps me feel better. <laughs> I've been playing so much Elden Ring. <laughs> I've been hardcore into it. I'm loving it, but I can't stream it because I thought I got rid of the audio bug. No, apparently it's something to do with my graphics card, not it's something to do with DirectX 12. I've updated DirectX 12. Fuck you. <laughs> Directed at D DX11. Fuck you. D uh, DX10? Was it 9? 11, 12. 9, 11, 12. Updated all of them? Nothing. Updated my audio drivers? Nothing. Updated my graphics drivers? Nothing. Still the same problem persists. Download downgraded the resolution of the game to 1080p. Still the same problem. Not as frequent though. Hmm. Maybe it's something to do with graphics. Hey, apparently this game has hideous levels of RTX. Turn off all the RTX options. Legitimately remove it from the system. Pretty much turn it off on all accounts. Same problem. I thought I got rid of it. No. I want to stream that shit. I want to fucking, I got to fire Missoula and I can't play it because I've got to take out big boss boys and they're lag fests. I want to fucking kill people. No, can't do it. Lag fest. I want to get Tish. No, he's a lag fest. The dude has a fucking slinky spine and I'm expected to kill it with random frame drops where my game will just pause and then it speeds up i want to just kill things i want to go fire missoula it took me like 50 tries to kill the fire giant i get to fire missoula i go okay cool let's do this shit no good luck everything here is lag fest i'm like motherfucker i killed that dragon I've killed every fucking dragon so far, apart from the icy boy. I, have, I need to go kill that ice boy. But like, it's so fucking annoying. I'm like going, oh, cool. I could kill everything. I could kill everything. I got. I just, I want to. I just want to go on and kill shit. I just want to kill things, but I can't because I feel like shit. But it's fun. <laughs> what happens if I tell this to just look at me? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah, that's how far up you are. That's how over me you are. I mean, yes, my dad's texting me being like, ooh, there was a delivery. I'm like, fuck them. I, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I should really check my phone if my dad just texted me being like, there's a delivery. It's six stops away. I'm like, you need to tell me before it tries to deliver. Not after. I am not well. Moving around hurts. All of my joints are in pain. But I just want to kill things. I want to do farmer's Ruler. Actually, no. I want what I want to do is I want to do the volcano manor. And then I want to go, I want to, I want to finish off the of Volcano Manor, and then I want to get to the Halic Tree, because the Halic Tree is just beautiful. It's very Lord of the Rings. It's very lo Leaves of Lorien. I'm, I'm pretty. What about the boss dragon plane Elden Ring? Have you destroyed them yet? Oh, I haven't destroyed the big final boss one, the multi-head guy, the big multi-head dragon boy. Um, the last boss I did would have been, was it, so I've done Moog, I've done Moog, I've done the Fire Giant, um, I've done Radan, I did Astel, I've done the entirety of, uh, Rani's questline. Um, I'm most of the way through Dung Eater. I'm still on my first playthrough, by the way. I've done most of Dung Eater. I haven't touched the Chaos storyline. Um, I haven't touched the Sun Mask Boys shit. Um, I've met him a couple times, though. I just haven't done any of his stuff. Um, I haven't touched Senna's line. My stomach really wants me to just go to the toilet right now. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I've done, I've done a lot of it. I've done a lot of it. I just, I, I'd say I just got to Far Missoula, but I'm like, I'm gonna go back and finish off the Volcano Manor. Um. And I want to get to the Halo tree, but I know I got to deal with fucking um, the Black Dark Knight Assassin boys. I don't want to go near them. Uh, what about the boss dragon playing Elden Ring? Have you destroyed them yet? I don't get what you said. Yeah, I haven't done the multi head boy. Oh, my stomach. Oh, this is another problem I've had as well. I've literally had two bits of toast and my stomach's gone. Yeah, no, you're going to literally leave like a week's worth of shit. It's a lewd joke. Oh, is it a bad dragon joke? I really want one of those. I really want one. Oh. What, how, what time is... Oh. Oh. I feel really cold. My stomach's going all funny. <clears throat> Bad dragon and lover joke. Oh. My stomach's really killing me. What the fuck? I literally just went to the toilet as well. Uh, uh, oh, my screens are all stacked right now. What the fuck? Um, okay. My stomach's gone to crap. When I say gone to crap, I literally mean it's left me. Um, hand thank you hope you get better soon i'm going to go to the brb screen and i'll be back as soon as possible i really don't want to have to do this considering we're like what 
30 minutes into stream. Um, I don't want to end. Tracking! Fuck's sake! Oh yeah, I'm going to be extremely short-tempered as well. So no one piss me off. I will really... I'm really easily piss offable. I'm going to fix this screen quickly. And I'll be back as soon as physically possible. But I will just... Let me move the camera. Tracking! Where's the lights gone? I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna physically move so you can see all the nice pretty lights. Oh, it's because there's a Gaussian blur. You can't see the, the lights because of the Gaussian blur. Um, what if I do this? There we go. There we go. I can AFK to this. Enjoy, Snake! I'll be back as soon as possible, okay? I'm gonna fix this screen and I'm gonna go toilet and I'll be back as soon as possible. Um, I need the system. For my feet. This is gonna look awkward. Anyway, back in a minute.
I am sorry how long I took. I'm sorry. How's everyone holding up? Hi. Hi, Scorpion. Uh. So I went to the door. The fucking delivery guy put a note through the door and it simply said, I left it somewhere safe. Somewhere safe is right outside my fucking front door, which is on a street, literally door, street, door, street, door, street, like literally that physical, that far physically. They left the package on the fucking street and people use my road to go from shops down the road to the train station on the other side. I'm in the middle of the city. It's a very high end, it's a very high walk flow area for shopping. They left out a package outside my fucking door advertising to the fucking world. Yo, this person hasn't picked up a package. Maybe they're not in. Maybe they're not in. You realize what that does? Do you realize how fucking stupid that is? It literally advertises to scumbags. Yo, this person is robbable. They're not in. I'm like, I'm in. I just didn't want to fucking go pick up the plant my dad ordered online because he's an idiot. Seriously, it was a fucking plan. It was a fucking plan. It, it, my dad ordered a fucking plan on Amazon and it came in the fucking mail and the dick delivery driver fucking left outside my goddamn fucking door. No, that's the thing. It's one fucking company that fucking does it and i'm fucking sorry i am not i will fucking lynch the fucker who decided to go you know what i'm not gonna do my job it says i delivered it to a safe location didn't try any of my neighbors just went i'm just gonna put it right here right by the front door you know what, the only way that the twat could have done worse is if he put it in my fucking windowsill. Because that would have literally been like, Yo, you want this? I don't fucking know. It's an orange one. They change the color every few weeks. I'm like, motherfuckers, what the fuck? I am not well. Hello, Scorpion. Hello, David. Hello, Seamus. I'm not well at the moment. If you've only just tuned in, David, I'm going through exactly what Glub was going through. I I have a hormone shortage. Yeah, I'm all over the place, and I'm I'm very very easily fucking agitated at the moment. I hate it. I hate it. I love how the only things on my list which aren't being ticked off is the fucking gift subs. Shut up, I'm gonna get you a new battery. Yeah, I'm easily agitated right now. I'm in every joint hurts. My stomach doesn't know what to fucking do. Did you guys at least, did you guys at least enjoy the snake game. Did you enjoy the snake on the be right back? Is it a good fun? Is it a good addition to my streams? Because I could watch that shit all fucking day. And by the way, it takes emotes that you guys. It takes all of the. It's calming. It's fucking hypnotic. First time I uh, when I added this. 
I watched it for about 45 minutes. I watched it for about half an hour. And I, I got hypnotized. I just wanted to watch it all the way to the end. And the thing is, is it literally just, it repeats. It takes my emotes, other emotes, emotes of people I don't know. There's fucking hazard emotes in here. There's fucking hazard emotes in here. I literally just gave it my account name. It's gone, oh, this is everyone you have ever subscribed to and all of their emotes. Have fun. It's very what the fuck. It's lit. It's hypnotic as hell. I could watch this shit all day. <laughs> yeah, anyone I have ever been subscribed to basically gets gets it. Gets the emo. <laughs> it literally just takes emotes that I have ever had a subscription to, and it just adds it in. This shit is so entertaining. The thing is, is eventually I might. Might help with insomnia. No, I think I need to stop sitting and sleeping in call with Cal and just, um... Okay, I'm gonna get off of this, otherwise it's gonna mentally distract me and I've only got enough brain cells right now to do one thing at a time. Um... No, I think I need to start doing my night, uh, do, doing white noise again. I think I need to start doing white noise again. Hey, at least it works. Pray for me, I'm about to eat spicy noodles I don't pray for people if you want to make mistake if you want to make m poor life choices it's your own it's your own provocative and your own problem Sean's on Pazzy's on Nico's on Moon Eye Hikari Himo Blue Autumn Skelly you can do it you can do it I'm gonna change this music quickly, otherwise it's gonna make me pass out. Speaking of feeling functional, my left controller pressure pad broke yesterday and I'm working on getting a replacement. Okay, I, got, I can't remember which part that is. Is it the grip sensor? Because I have two sets of controllers, one of them has really poor grip sensors. I love this. <laughs> oh, the touch sensor on the thumbstick. You mean... It's not doing it for me or mine. It does it? Okay. Maybe mine's gone as well. Oh, maybe mine's gone as well. It might be a p issue in VR chat. I'm gonna lay down. Chat, come here. I'm eating spicy mingoren noodles. You may have to restart your controller and if or does it, it's busted. I don't give a shit, I never fucking, well, I don't get why that would be a problem. Like, I get it if it's like, for small inputs, but. Hey yo, look at that booty. Look at that booty. Look at the booty. Oh, I'm gonna get banned. <laughs> I'm not all hair, I'm sorry. Uh It might be where I'm sleeping in VR all the time. I don't know, I can give two shits. It's functional, it works, it's still better than my other controller. If it becomes a problem for other reasons, then sure, but I don't give a crap. Uh. I mean, I am under two years warranty, so I don't give a shit. I, I, I want my replacement. I'm under two years as well. I'm on t under two years for my first set of controllers. Mine was spazzing out, so it's not like an on-off thing. Oh, um, apparently a recent 
let me let me let me just get in a more comfortable. There you go. Yeah, we're doing this again. Let's let's have fun. Um, apparently a more. Wait, where's my? <laughs> apparently a more recent update for Steam VR. Wow, my my leg tracking is all over the place. I need to change the hip. Let's change the hip. There we go. Nope, even that fucked. Um, apparently a more recent update for Steam. Oh, I just realized that I should be doing this. Yeah, a more recent update on Steam for Steam VR has made it so there's loads of other problems. So, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> if I pass out, I'm very sorry. I don't think it's a Steam VR issue, it's actually the controller itself. Uh, apparent okay, Cal has this issue where the... Oh wait, you don't have full body, do you? I was gonna say, if you had full body... I'm not gonna take a sip, Scorpion, I will actually throw up. Um... Uh... Um... Same, same problem. Trust me, I'd rather not risk it. Um, what was I saying? Cal has an issue where occasionally his tracker, his controllers will, his controllers, his control, his controllers, controllers will pair to his trackers, not his headset. Yeah, it's I, I I'm constantly nauseous no matter what I drink at the moment. So rather than deal with that, I'd rather not. Um, I may pass out. I'm sorry if I do. Um, but yeah, Cal has an issue where his controllers um will randomly pair to his tracker. Hi Shadow. Hello. Hello. I know that his controllers pair to his trackers. Oh, go. Oh. I'm not well at the moment. I feel functional, but I'm not well. I'm still not here. I'm in a I'm in a awkward situation where if I stream, I'm not gonna have a good amount of energy. But if I don't stream. I'm fucked in a couple weeks. Yeah, I feel I'm 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 all over the place because of the UK shortage on hormones. You feel nauseous. You get it worse than club. Yep. Well, David, you need to remember this. I've been on hormones a lot longer than club. I, I, I've been on hormones for about four or five years at this point, so my body was very much dependent on the estrogen. Glob was Glob's body. Glob's body adjusted to them and then had to unadjust and then, and then and then adjust to being off of them. Mine was adjusted on them, stabilized on them, came comfortable on them, and then basically got it ripped away. Yeah. It's kind of like. It's kind of like a mo it's kind of like going on a motorway or a highway or whatever. You got two cars. You got two cars. One of them set the journey off first. It's got the momentum. It's driving. It doesn't have to have the foot on the throttle the whole time. It's just comfortable. It's ro it's ro it's coasting and it's keeping up its speed. It's comfortable. Glob was very much just had the foot down on the accelerator getting up to speed and then and then and, and then someone came up to them and just went, "Yo, brake!" Uh, I'd imagine I'd be worth. 
everywhere so that's the longer you are all on them yeah way upside down it's comfy and it's interesting to look at okay this is called a clickbait this is a clickbait thumbnail right now this is a clickbait Go look at the VR chat. Am I on the VR chat section? I should be in the VR chat section. I am. Go check out the VR chat section and t find my thumbnail. See how quickly you find me. It won't take you long. You are very click, click baseable. It's the whole idea. Dab. <laughs> well, the first thing I see is kitty booty. 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 I did. Don't don't hate on me. Don't hate on me just because I dabbed. I dabbed on your ass. Oh my thumbnail, you are the opposite way to standing up, right? <laughs> Instead of laying down, I am a, I am in a perfect. Wait, no, that angle's really shitty because you can see all the crap under. It's about clickbait thumbnails, okay? I'm not being good. My worst enemy, the dab. Yep, dabbed on. I mean, I could be playing Elden Ring right now. Yeah. I could be doing Elden Ring right now. <laughs> I found you, but you were on the very bottom, not dead last, but a good bit down. It's because I haven't streamed in over a week. I haven't streamed in over a week. The out you Twitch's algorithm has fucked me and is not sending out notifications, being like, "Yo, they're back." It's like, no. You haven't streamed in a week. You're bad. Fuck you. Yeah, did you know that that's what Twitch does? If you turn around and you don't stream for a week because of health reasons, it's so a go fuck yourself. Oh! Hi, Skeletal. How are you doing? How was your stream? I am not well. I'm hoping you're doing good. <laughs> also, there's a lot of Korean V. VR chat streamers. Yeah, they're kind of taking over the VR chat section, aren't they? How are you doing, hun? Did you have a fun stream? Very good. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm not well. I'm not well. The Korean time zone is basically non-existent and is an untapped market. That's true, and it's also the same for the Japanese market. There's a reason why I wanted to learn Japanese, is so I can bring in some Japanese speakers and expand my market further. I do, and thank you for you coming from Tyler. I was on Twitch, I wanted to see who was on, I saw you and I missed you, so I was like, yo, let's go say hi to this, let's go say hi to this fuzzy boy, I like, I miss my fuzzy boy, I like, I like looking after my fuzzy boys, you're on the VR chat, uh, so crap, I've already twice, how, 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 yeah, I'm not well at the moment. Is someone browsing the category and just streaming it? Is that how I'm in there twice? No, I'm not well. I'm not well, and I'm being very up and down. And Skeletor can confirm. Skeletor could probably um, confirm this, but when you don't stream for a long period of time and then you come back, Twitch is just like, I'm not gonna promote your shit. No, it's probably a bug happens sometimes. I think yeah, it's just it's a bug. Okay. Why is that hurting my ear when it's nowhere near my ear? That's so weird. Yeah, I miss my I I miss seeing you, Skel uh, Skeletor. It's, it's it's I you're you're such a you're such a treat you're a delight to hang out with. It's been a while. Oh, 
I have a few videos planned now, by the way. I want to explore. One of the videos I'm going to be working on is exploring why I got banned on Omegle. And then two is be, and uh, just uh, uh, and seeing if it was a justifiable ban. And then the second one will be me getting my ass back on the Megal. I found you a third time. I am an enigma. Oh god, I'm so up and down. I love being on half my hormones. I feel very. Confused. I think I was on my phone in my sleep last night. Like, not even lightly joking. I think I was in my sleep on my phone because I woke up with my, my phone next to me. And I never do that. I either was on my phone and passed out real quick, but I don't... I remember putting it back on the charging port. And I woke up with it next to me. I have no fucking idea how. I think I'm having... I think I'm doing things in my sleep again. Which is always an interesting sign. It's a sign that I'm hormonally not good. I've been using voice to text all this time. What the fuck? fuck are we listening to? What the fuck is this? Random acts of saxophone madness. The fuck? What is this song? Da, 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 da. I have a license before you ask. I'm good. It's Monster Cat. It should be Monster Cat. Da, 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 But yeah, if you're wondering how it feels, it's very, I feel very, it's just constant discomfort. What is this song? Holy shit. It kind of bobs, but it kind of doesn't. It's like confused. Did you have fun watching your YouTube videos though, Skeleto? Have I been kicked? I feel like I've been kicked off of Twitch. <laughs> I mean, Twitch is just like, you're not well. You shouldn't be streaming. Yeah, the UK at the moment is going for a very big HRC shortage. And it finally hit me. And I've been on half of my dose for the past like two weeks. And I spent last week on or off throwing up. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that, did I? I was on or off throwing up a week. My dad, when they first saw me after it really started hitting me bad, was like, Are you alright? I went, No. I'm like, why? I'm like, I'm on half of my whole I'm on half of my prescription and I feel like dead. And they're like, why? I'm like going, there's a shortage and they're like, shit. I'm gonna try a different place tomorrow though. I think if Cal came on, he'd be like, turn off your stream. <laughs> oh, I may pass out though, I'm sorry if I do.
Uh, I'm comfy. What's everyone been up to though? What have you guys been up to? I'm running on zero hours of sleep and a shit ton of caffeine. I every time I go near caffeine, it feel I feel my body feels toxic. Only way to describe it is if I have any caffeine, my body feels physically toxic and I just want to throw up. Yeah, I feel very floaty brain right now. Yeah, I'm very floaty brain. I would tell you to stop streaming and sleep, but I know you would just continue out of spite. Yes, because I'm a brat. Actually, to be honest, I think, I, I think, if enough of you were like, you know, you you should rest. I probably would. But I need I'm in a sit like the situation is this so I'm gonna pause my music because of that. I'm in a situation of streaming will probably do me more damage than help me. But by not streaming my financial situation gets put in a way more delicate situation. Um, yeah, it puts my financial situation in a tighter spot whilst making it... Um, yeah, it makes me feel crap, but it puts me in a financially difficult spot. So I need to stream so I don't get fucked, but in doing so, it means I'm gonna feel shitter for longer. But I need to, but I shouldn't. It's a lose-lose situation. It's a, if I rest, I feel good, but my financial situation stresses me out, which doesn't help. And if I do, I feel shit, but my financial situation doesn't get worse, it just makes things worse. But technically speaking, if I go in, if I stream and I have and I'm not in the best mindset, if I stream and I'm not in the best mindset, then it's a situation of I probably make shit worse for me overall. Because I'll have new people turn up and they'll be like, "Yo, what's this bitch about? Are they, are they a fun watch? Am I gonna be a new regular on this person's stream?" And then they'll see me being all like, and all floaty and shitty, and bleh. and then they'll be like, no, I don't think I will. They seem out of it, and I'm like, yes, I am sick. Please don't hate me. It's a, it's a, it's a catch twenty two. I'm, I need to, but I shouldn't. But by doing so, by not doing so, I hurt myself. And it's very, oh, oh yes. Uh, let's go low key. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Farosh. Farosh gets it. Yeah, I need to, but I shouldn't, but I kind of don't think I should because of, yeah. I felt functional today. I felt functional. I think in future what I'll do is I might just do streams in very short bursts when I'm very much feeling it. Ah. Uh. Mm. If you're new here, by the way, uh, 
if you're new here, welcome to the stream, stream, streamer Yakuza. Um, I'm Katie, I'm sick, uh, not well, um, trying to survive in general. randomly pass out I'm gonna keep saying that because I don't want you guys to be like oh my god I thought mm. if you want to actually really help me then consider going to my patreon I'm gonna have some cool stuff going on as soon as I fucking... I love you guys so much. How are you doing, Flora? I'm doing okay. I feel like shit. It's a constant headache as well. It's a constant headache, it's constant tired, it's constant... It's constant feeling like shit. It's like someone's left the tap on and you're trying to sleep and all you hear downstairs is just a... Hi Taras. How are you doing? I need to update my emotes. Just had a meeting. Did you have a good meeting? Did you were you responsive to Were you responsive at all? The only person I will actually listen to is Cal. If he turns around and he's just like, oh, no, you're, you're passing out, you gotta go off stream. I'll be like, fuck you. And then get off anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was just fine. Mm. I'm glad you're, you're doing fine. I actually really miss you guys when I don't stream. Oh, it's so surprising how much your hormones regulate your functionality. Like, holy shit. Like, absolutely, holy fucking shit. Like, it regulates your body, your stomach. It regulates your... Oh god, it regulates what you want to eat, it regulates how often you want to eat. I, I've literally not eaten for about three days in the past two weeks, and I didn't realize it. That's how bad it is. And it's like, I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat. I'm thirsty, but I don't want to drink anything. I'm, um... Yeah, David, I'm aware of that. I'm well than aware that soy-based products and phytoestrogens are good, and they will help. But, I'm also very much aware that your digestive system rips out about 99% of it, so it actually doesn't do much. It's more of a placebo effect. 
like, it's genuinely extremely low like estrogen levels i get it it helps it makes you feel better but it's just a placebo effect they've done countless studies on it you need to be eating it in huge quantities it may not be a, a lot but it's something i know i know but eating anything it just makes me nauseous as fuck i'm in a situation of once my estrogen is gone once i ha once my supply is gone i'm just gonna be cold turkey and then i'm literally just gonna be like you know what i'm probably just gonna give myself a couple days to allow it to adjust but this month for streams this month for content i may just have to take the l i may just have to take the l and just be like i'm gonna feel fucked i'm gonna feel fucked for a while oh god i'm so cold oh yeah temperature wise i could be both hot and cold at the same time shiver and sweat at the same time it's so confusing like the other day i felt boiling hot and it was two degrees celsius and the heating wasn't even on and i was like laying butt naked in bed with my ass in into the world to help me cool down i was like i'm really fucking hot and then i looked at the temperature and was like it's two degrees celsius how am i this hot <laughs> Thank you for the suggestion, my dear, but I really appreciate it. Oh, I just realized that was probably your balls. There we go. Head pat. Head pat. <laughs> I forgot my ankle makes it out like I'm just stroking it. <laughs> stroking something else. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, and I'm loopy as fuck fuck the other day the other day i had some chocolate oh no i'll tell you the story about the orange the story so i was really hungry and i have some oranges in my mini fridge because i'm trying to be healthier and oranges is one of the things which actually doesn't make me feel sick for the most part so i went i'm gonna have an orange and i have my orange about two minutes after I finish my orange, I'm in tears. I can't sleep. Cal's wondering what the fuck is going on. And my response is, I really, I want my orange. But I was crying for like a good half an hour because I wanted my orange. <laughs> and it happened again. Oh, it? what was the chocolate? I had some form of chocolate. I had some chocolate and I can't remember what it was and I was with Cal in VR and I just curled up to him and I was just in tears going I ran out of chocolate and he was like what the it was chocolate pretzels I remember it was I was crying in VR because I've had chocolate pretzels and I ate all of them and I was so sad because I wanted more chocolate pretzels uh, I'm gonna make myself cry thinking about that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna end up making myself cry if I think about that because I finished off chocolate bunnies this morning and I kind of want more. Uh, I remember you talking about Kim to trade stuff. Huh? Oh, yeah. I remember we were gonna trade things. We were gonna. I can't remember what we were gonna trade though. I actually can't remember. I was gonna trade her something for cho for chocolate. I can't remember. I think I was gonna trade cuddles. I don't think they're here. I don't think Kim's here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I miss being, I miss streaming, I miss talking with you guys, I miss interacting. <laughs> I 
Oh, it doesn't help that we've had a cold snap here recently as well. So I'm going through all of this and I'm not being able to breathe. <laughs> right, both of my noses are near enough blocked. Ugh. I can't remember what I was going to offer Kim, but Kim wanted something and I was like, oh, I'll try to do this. Pew, 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 pew. Hi, Smiley. Hi, Smiley. Hi. How are you doing? We good? I didn't get my points refunded back to me. For what? Take a sip? There you go. Have your points back. The rest of them there. I are good. Good. <laughs> Enjoy your points. I'm cool. Yeah, I have to reject it. I'm so cold right now. Ah. <sighs> I see you're laying down. Would be a shame if someone redeemed a sip. No, because I'm not doing them. Have your points back. I'm not doing them. I feel like crap. I think I need to roll on my side. Oh, I think I need to roll over. I need you. I need chat. Oh god. No. No. Everything's around me. This is so confusing. Oh, I'm upside down. There you go. Hello. My pillows are all plushy. Make sure that's not right over my ear. How are you doing, Smiley? How have you been this week? The stream was the right way up. You want me to turn it upside down? Better? It doesn't matter. It's the right way up now. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So yeah, how have you been? It's been a while. I'm going through what Glob was going through and I feel really crappy. Appar according to David, I'm probably going through it worse as well because I'm nauseous all the time. And I'm only on half of my dosage right now. I'm not off of it yet. I'm only on half. And I feel, ooh, I feel this shit on half. You come here. And I miss you guys so much. You guys have no idea how much I love to being able to call this my livelihood. I've been, I've been working. Oh, that's good. Hoping they come out fine, Scorpion. Mm. I'm hoping they come out and they're okay.
Predator. Sleep. <clears throat> this is really cozy right now. I shouldn't have laid on my side. I'm fine. I'm fucking fine. I'm sorry I'm not well. <sighs> okay, smiley sister, okay. It's gonna be a while. I don't know when I'm getting my hormones. Hi, Greedy. How are you? I'm not. T I'm not sleeping. I'm not asleep. You're asleep. You're slacking. I'm just cozy and cold. <laughs> my warm bed. My warm. My warm is bed. Yes. Yo, same. I'm in the UK. <laughs> hey, we avoided. Hey, we've managed to avoid the apocalypse uh, weather event scenario. Ooh. Yeah, we've managed to avoid the apocalypse. Uh... <laughs> we've managed to avoid the apocalypse uh, climate change scenario, by the way. Kirk just at Kirk's because I did a. Um, of a short video 
Um, no, uh, light. Um, unless things completely 180 on the progress that we've made over the last 10 years. Um... Um... Unless we've completely, like, literally remove all the things we've put in place, the infrastructure, our updated infrastructure and everything else. Um, did I pronounce it right, Terrace? Did I, did I, did I do it right? Did I say cut? Did I say it right? Um, yeah, unless we completely 180 on the thing, the infrastructure we've put in place. Um, we've avoided the four degree, uh, four to eight degree apocalypse situation. We've now got the cap now. The, in, by 2100, we should be at no more than a three degree increase, which is bad, but four degrees is literally regarded as apocalyptic because four degrees will accelerate to eight degrees and then eight degrees will literally jump up to 27 degrees Oop. whenever you do what you just did the only thing we see is purple just lift my arm yes because it's hello it's the bath it's the bed thing because it's plush look it's plush it's plush it does the boingy boingy. You go boink, 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 boink. Yeah. But yeah, according to the uh, according to the um at Kutzka's art, I said it's basically um we're in a now in a situation of yeah. It's a funny shadow. <laughs> but yeah according to the according to the latest video um we've now got it so uh batteries are now 10 times cheaper than what they used to be um actually battery powered vehicles are now almost the same price as regular vehicles which makes them significantly better to get in the modern age um, cells of um, electric vehicles have jumped up like 300%, 500% something stupid in the last like three years. Um, now our infrastructure is now basically rooted in, yeah, you better not that's how I I know you're sleepy. I am sick. There's a difference, okay? There's a difference. I am sick. You just woke up. Um, the biggest problem we have uh, facing right now is the fact that lithium is finite, so we need newer and better battery tech. We do. It's called graphene. Graphene batteries are the next generational step in battery technology, and we're working towards it. By the time the lithium issue is a pro becomes a problem, then graphene is a thing. Cool thing, graphene, graphene can be made from scrubbing CO2 from the atmosphere. So by reducing our carbon footprint, we can reduce it even more. Yeah, but they need to come to cars and stuff they do and the fact that they are apparently going to first be approaching cars is actually a good thing uh tesla is massively invested in the technology also elon musk has bought like 15 percent or something of um twitter he's now actually a board he's actually on the board officially and we might be getting an edit button on Twitter. Nine percent. It's fifteen percent actually. He upped it to fifteen percent. The board was like, you know what, you're a majority holder, do you want an extra five percent? You can buy it for this much. Yeah, he now bought he he owns like fifteen percent apparently. Isn't Twitter Blue a thing where you pay to edit your post? No one uses it though, David. 
We just need an easy way to mass produce graph graphite. Last I heard. Hi, Cyber. How you doing? But he is the biggest or one of the biggest shareholders. I own. He's the number one shareholder. He owns more than the CF than the than the founder. I can't remember what I said. Also, the edit for Blue is only for the first five minutes or before someone interacts with it. Yeah, and for a lot of people above a certain size, that becomes a much it becomes a huge problem. Like my Twitter right now, if I post anything, I get like three people liking it, and it's like, oh shit. Like within the first few minutes, I get you terrace liking it and like two three other people and it's like oh shit and then i'll average about one or two likes for about half a day on the video <sighs> how have i been today i'm sick i'm on half my hormones and my body temperature is very up and down right now I'm constantly nauseous. Yeah, I'm nauseous even right now. The problem is, and this is the bit which I think loads of people don't get, is my body thinks it's pregnant right now. So I'm going through the whole horrible, like, morning sickness shit. Because of hormone, was there a crazy thing happened to me? Oh, that's cool. Hey, Saladin. The fuck? I just go up here. I've been up for 28 hours. That's not a crazy thing. It's just you deciding to not go to sleep for a day and a bit. That's me on a good day. I stayed up for 48 hours once gaming non-stop, then crashed for 12 hours. When I was in when I was doing tournaments. So when I was doing gaming tournaments. Um, we, because I, I was an endurance streamer, I, I was, I know, I, I was an endurance streamer, fuck's sake, I was an endurance, um, gamer, I would do tournaments, where, um, I'd do tournaments where I would basically go and play games for as long as possible, left for dead, 72 hours, survival, did 70, did 70, 70 odd hours straight survival. It got to the point where we were just being flooded with tanks and then one of us passed out at the keyboard and then we died. <laughs> it's the tournament. And then I got back from the tournament and I literally, my mum my mom was like, oh, um, dinner's gonna be in about an hour or two. Is that fine? I went, yeah, I'm just gonna lay down for a bit. I laid down and I slept in my clothes 24 hours straight. I went to bed at 5 p.m. Oh no, it was 26 hours. I went to bed at 5 p.m. No, 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 was it 5 p.m.? No, I went to bed at like 4, so it was 4 p.m. I, I got in for 4 p.m., told my mom, I'm gonna lay down for a couple of hours. I, I, I've been awake basically all weekend doing this tournament. And then I went into my room I laid down, didn't get undressed. I laid down and I woke up the following day, two hours later. So in my head, in my head, in my head, it was only two hours later, but I had slept for a day and two hours. So I went downstairs. I went downstairs and my mum was like, oh, you okay? I went, 
yeah, I'm fine. Where's dinner? She went, you don't know what day it is, do you? I went, no, what is it? She went, it's tomorrow. Dinner's been in dinner has been on the microwave all night for you. I went, what? I went, yeah, yeah. It's, you, you slept for a day. I went, what the fuck? I literally slept for 26 hours straight. And I thought I only slept for two hours. I went, yeah, I needed that rest. I didn't sleep for three days. And then I woke up. And then I actually passed out. And I went, a day and a bit. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, your friends came around. They all wanted to hang out and stuff. I'm like, I didn't sleep all weekend. I think over the whole weekend, I got like four hours of sleep. I just can't sleep in certain, in certain situations. But it was the fact that it was very much, I felt like I blinked and then I woke up the next day. That was the bit which freaked me out most. The genuine fact that it was a clean 26 hours and I only wanted to put my head down for two. Because that's the thing. I said to myself, oh, I'm only going to be here for like a... I'm only going to put my head down for a couple of hours. I go to bed next day. Ah, uh, yeah, you basically perfectly slept. GG. Mmm. <laughs> Uh, oh, what's everyone been up to? I found out that I can, can't fall asleep on air mattress. I can't sleep unless I'm really comfortable. I genuinely require a decent level of comfort because I just can't sleep without decent comfort. And I know that sounds really like, well, yeah, obviously. But like, I, I'm not even joking. I, I think I'm very much developing insomnia because I'm struggling to sleep before 5 a.m. Doesn't it change your birth year if you sleep for days? No. Why would that change your birth year if you sleep for days? What the fuck? No, it's only happened to me a couple times. It's I'm I'm so exhausted. Me go sleep. Uh, I also paid four hundred. Um, I also for, for a memory foam mattress, which I'd like to get a good, good use of. I need. To, I me and my dad are actually going to go look at. Um, sofa beds this weekend I might actually get a, a good mattress topper for the new bed because sleeping on the floor is killing me like my, I'm on a mattress right now but it's very much right underneath it is floorboards I am not well oh my god I feel like crap I feel like I'm gonna throw up I think I should end <laughs> I know somebody who paid $4,000 for a mattress. I would love... Uh, uh, me and Cal... Okay. Me and Cal currently have a goal. Me, mine and Cal's goal is currently... Get our financial situation good enough so we can move out. Yeah, mine and Cal's goal is earn enough, get our um, income to a point stable and high enough so we can get our own place. And one thing that I want me and Cal to do is we genuinely want to, um, we, we genuinely want to, um, uh, we want to get our own place and we want to get a good mat, we want to get a good bed. We want to get a good bed, but it's very much, um, we, it's baby steps. But yeah, I'm on the mattress on the floor right now. I'm literally on the mattress on the floor. I had a bed frame, but we had a problem where a mouse was just endlessly living under there. And it was just so much extra stress just to have it. So I just got rid of the frame. Also, the back of it was just mold because it was just buttoned up against an external wall. Oh, 
I love how my title is, I feel functional, and I've spent the entire stream laying down, just absolutely passing the fuck out. Oh, I hate how sick I've been. I do. I really hate it. I hate how sick I've been because it feels... Do you want to know the big problem? Where I've been so sick, it feels like all the work and effort I've put in to helping myself grow, to help and improve my financial situation, it basically feels like someone out of nowhere has gone, boom, rug pull, go fuck yourself. Yeah, I'm sick at the moment. I'm sick. Uh, so, Brett, um, the UK is going for a home, uh, HRT shortage at the moment. So, I'm on half of my dose. And I feel shit. I actually have spent the last week or so being extremely bleh. And right now I feel nauseous. I, I feel nauseous and I'm starting to get a bit of a headache. The UK treats trans people like shit. Not as bad as some places. I mean, you're not wrong, but we, it it's not that it, they treat us like shit. I mean, compared to the fucking Russia, compared to China, um, compared to the fucking Middle East. Well, they wanted to ban conversion therapy uh, for everyone except trans people, so that's shitty. Uh, no, they wanted to outright... They, that's a, uh, that's um, a lie. They wanted to outright ban conversion therapy in general. Um, conversion, therap conversion therapy is basically trying to get someone to deny who they are. Um... Technically speaking, um, you have to go through some form of con you have to go through some form of therapy to, uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it, conversion therapy is generally shitty. But no, they got rid of conversion therapy a while ago. It's a dumb concept. It's a dumb concept, but on the basis of religion, it shouldn't happen. Full stop. It's. It's literally just religion sitting on the basis of religion. Oh, I hope you're doing well. okay there. Um, I'm gonna be fine. Um, I'm just on half of my hormone dosage at the moment and I feel dead. Like, genuinely feel dead. Religion gets away with too much in relation to shit like that. Yeah, um, I think, um, Joey from, um, I think we're, uh, Joey from, um, Trash Taste got it perfectly right. Science is changing your beliefs based on what you observe, whilst religion is denying what you observe to maintain your belief. Is basically scientists is changing your belief based on what you observe, whilst religion is. Staying blind to what you observe to maintain your belief, basically. Um, and the problem is, is religion just gets in. Religion is ho not gonna lie. I'm not gonna get into this. I don't want to. But religion genuinely just outright. Religion just outright has held back humanity. Uh, I don't know. I'm trans, so I hate most places by default at this point. I have really... but I've been assaulted on the street. I've had people shout stuff at me. Um, I've been followed home multiple times. Um, I'm at a point where leaving my house feels really shitty. Uh, but in the UK right now, home, there's, a home, there's a really horrible HRT shortage. Um... There's a really horrible, in general, just HRT shortage. It's not just for the trans people. It's for people who are like, um... I, should, I really want this level. It's for people who are, um... It's for menopausal women as well. There's just a HRT shortage. So I'm in a situation of my body just feels like fucking hot shit. 
One day I'm going to change this shit. Why can't we all just get along? Because opinions get in the way. And people are stubborn twats who don't want to change their mind or don't want to listen to the other person. There is a... Cyber... There is a reason why saying I was wrong and I need help are two of the hardest things anyone can say. And the third being Worcestershire sauce, which I'm fine with. But yeah, going out, I, I, I have partial agoraphobia because I've been assaulted on the streets. Um... And leaving my house just feels... I, I'm i constantly scared that people are going to try and do shit. So, yeah. Worcestershire sauce. And I did that. And I did that with speech to text. I'm really fucking sorry to hear you were assaulted. It was a few years ago. It, a fucking kid walked up to me, punched me, and then ran off. I think his plan was he was going to punch me, I was going to go down, and then he was going to beat me up. But he punched me, and I didn't flinch. What the fuck? Yeah, I didn't flinch whatsoever. I literally just stood there, looked at him, and I just said, If you want to go, I will put you in the concrete. And it, that's the thing. Everyone around us who saw it literally just went, Oh, shit shit what are they gonna do and i just called him a fucking cunt and told him to get the fuck out of my space kids are fucking stupid kids are fucking stupid <clears throat> people are afraid of change very true it's very true people are afraid of people are afraid of change people are afraid of different i just hate people in general i mean I don't hate, I don't hate people, if I hold that, that should be a thing, um, um, I don't hate people, I hate the potential of people, and I'm cautious of what potential people people can potentially do i'm happy compared to what it was when i was like a kid i'm happy with how shit's gone for move forward compared to when i was a teenager shit's gotten so much better if you want to see actual change um watch tick tick boom watch tick tick boom the way that the lgbt community was treated back then um the whole AIDS epidemic, the whole AIDS issue, the issue with AIDS back in like the 80s and the 90s, uh, was it the 70s, was it, was it the 70s, it was like the eight, during the 80s and the 90s there was the problem with um, AIDS, I think it was actually the 70s through to the 90s, um, the issue with AIDS and the fact that it was, it was just an outright death sentence and you had the, um, the moral majority, the, the moral majority basically, um, beating on, I forget how fucking loud that is. Hi Nero, how was your stream? Did you have fun? Hi, how was your stream? Bathroom, BRB, okay. Um, but yeah, back in like, through this, so basically back in the 80s, you had the issue of the moral majority, who basically were very much along the line, pushing this whole line of, um, it's immoral to be gay, you shouldn't be gay, you just find yourself a good woman and you'll be fine, just find yourself a if you're a lesbian, find yourself a good husband who can beat some sense into you. And it was like, I'm sorry, what the fuck is wrong with you? And that's what it was like. That's what it was like back then. Compared to now, where it's very much about, you know what? You're not harming anyone. 
go about shit in your own way. As long as you don't hurt other people, people don't give a shit. Issue. Assholes don't think that way. Yeah, that's the thing. The more the quote unquote moral majority aren't moral. They're very much like they they they're very the funny point forever broken a lot of the people who were found to basically be anti-gay and anti-trans turn out to be pedophiles they turn out to be pedophiles and child molesters and shit like that the shit that come out came out in the 2000s about them holy shit it completely it took a shotgun and put it in their own face and they just pulled the trigger with their toes. It's, gen it's genuinely, they're doing this to basically be like, look over here, look over here, look over here. I'm a pedophile. Look over here, look over here. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm kidnapping children. I'm look over here, look, look, gay people. It's like, why are you trying to smoke screen? You are just assholes. Don't do that. Every trans person, I actually know. That's a complete, that, that wouldn't have been a complete lie. Every trans person I know, on a personal level, has always been a genuinely loving and caring person. Um, a, apart from one, apart from one small group of trans people, when I say small group of trans people, I literally mean they were a couple and it turned out they were a pedophile. They were both pedophiles and they were molesting children. Um, yeah, by the way, tell ask him to tell you about her les um, her old lesbian roommates. Um, her old lesbian trans roommates. Because it turned out that they were literally only being, they were only transitioning because they were pedophiles and they were planning on using it to not go to jail those are the types of dickheads that i really want to fucking hit with a bus i ran into a trans tur i don't know what that means but yeah, there's a hand the problem is is it's the small majority. It's it's about this vocal minor it's about the vocal minor minority. It's a, it's a, it's like this whole issue um in the states. Um uh, it's it's the issue with um it's the, it's it's the issue with Trump supporters. Um don't get me wrong, nothing wrong with a good, there's nothing wrong with tra Trump supporters, but you need to say, but you need to say it in the, uh, let me just shine some light on it. There is nothing wrong with a Trump supporter. In my opinion, if you're a genuinely, if you're a genuinely a lovely, kind person and you choose to act in a way which doesn't hurt other people, you're fine. I'm never going to hate you. But the issue is, is the vocal minority make the entire entire group out to be fucking disgusting it's this issue with the whole um with the whole racist mindset of um oh you're a muslim you must be part of isis i'm like no shut the fuck up that's not how this works it's that whole just because they're loud and they get attention they get the majority of every monochrome of attention that you see it's the vocal minority it's karen's it's fucking karen's basically think of it like this people complain all the time to stores they will go in they will do a formal complaint they'll sit down they won't pull out a camera they will sit down and they will be like I'd like to talk to your manager, please. I have a complaint I want to make. Um, and they will quietly deal with it. They will go in and they'll be like, hi, I want to talk to your manager. That'll be very much, I want to talk to your manager. I have a complaint. I think you need to hear it. And they will literally sit down. No cameras, no nothing. They'll sit down, they'll go in and they will just be like, calm conversation is that I had a problem with one of your employees. They did this, they were rude to me, this, that, and the other. Response, this is fine we'll deal with it 
we'll move forward. Problem! Karen's! Fucking Karen's! Karen walks in and goes, I would like to speak to your manager! Pulls out camera. You! Your employees! Motherfucker! Employees! <laughs> and they will they will kick up a storm. I'm like, it's the vocal minority that caused the problems that gets all the attention. And the problem is, 99% of the trans community do not want to do anything. We just want to get on with our lives. We want to be quiet. We want to be human. We want to be treated with respect and equality. Now, here's the problem. You get one trans person who turns... You get one pro trans person like Chris Chan who literally rapes their fucking goddamn fucking senile old mother who's got fucking Alzheimer's and dementia and he goes, I'm fucked. I, I fuck my mum. I'm like, oh yeah, you're I, and you're trans. Great, congratulations. You just fucking, you just gifted the world a fucking excuse to hate trans people. And then you get other assholes that turn around and say, oh, that's what all of you do. I'm like, no, we don't. Oh, do you, do, 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 do Scorpion, 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 Christian. Look into Christian. Look into Chris Chan. Seriously, it is a rabbit hole with a depth that makes the fucking. It, it, there, there is a depth to that. There is a fucking. <laughs> the Chris Chan shit. Holy fucking crap. That shit was so fucked up. <laughs> but then you get and then there's just so many there's there's these issues where there's small percentages of these trans people or people who use being trans as an excuse to do bad things and it's like you are making our lives so much harder. Why? Stop. You are hurting people who are just... I just... Do you know what I, Do you guys want to know what my one goal in life is? My one goal in life is this. To get my own place with my amazing boyfriend so I can cuddle up to him at night and make him ham and cheese paninis on the weekend and a roast dinners and just make him happy i don't want anything else i just wanna i wanna i wanna live with the person i want to spend the rest of my fucking life with but you know what you know what the vocal minority the twats that get all the fucking bad press attention for everyone really Really, it, it hurts. To, no trans person who is in the majority wants to hurt anyone. 99% of the trans community just want to be with the person they love. Most of us just want to be... Most of us just want quiet lives where we could just grow old with the person that we want to be with. I really need to change the battery in that thing. <laughs> We just want to be who we are. We just want to... We want to be true to our own selves. We want to... We want to crawl up into bed with the person that we want to spend the rest of our life with. We want to grow old with... The ones we call... Our... One... The one... The, the, the people that we just want to be with. But we just want to be with her. I, that's the thing. All I want in life, the one goal I have, is I just want to be with Cal. 
I want to be with him. I want to, I want to be able to lay down next to him and listen to him snore. <laughs> I want to just lay in bed next to him and just watch him sleep and listen to him snore. Uh, fav uh, forever broken. You need to think about how it looks like in the grand scheme of history. Um, if it's not trans people, if it's not trans people, it's gay people. If it's not gay people, it's foreigners. If it's not foreigners, it's black people. If it's not black people, it's poor people. If it's not poor people, then it's those who don't pay their taxes. It's always a problem. It's those of different religions, those of different faiths, those different skin tones, those from different origins. It will literally fall down to the, you don't live on my street, fuck you. If you, if you get it down to it, you, it literally just turns into neighborly disputes. No, it's not even about acceptance. It's smoke screens ta it's smoke screen tactics that everyone with a brain cell can see a mile away yeah that's the thing because empath do you want to know the problem do you want to know the actual problem people are raised men are raised to basically be strong, macho. They need to be strong-willed and capable of doing anything and everything themselves. You wanna build a shed? Power tools, <laughs> shit like that. They basically have to be able to do any and everything themselves. The problem is this. Empathy is not drilled into men. Growing up in the wrong gender, I can say this. No one ever to told me to think about empathy. It was always, man up. You're an adult now. Man up. You know what? Man up. You shouldn't be crying. Man up. It's so bad bullshit you have emotions you are a person you are feelings you are allowed to feel bitch if you want to fucking cry cry you shouldn't feel bad guys do you want to know what really turns women on do you want to know how to get that girl at the fucking bar do you really really want your partner to love you more do you want that girl you have been in a relationship with not to leave you Talk to them, open up, show them your emotions, shed a fucking tear. You don't want to. The only time you fucking g guys ever fucking cry is at the end of fucking Marvel Endgame, Marvel Endgame, Avengers Endgame. The only time they ever fucking cry is at the end of Avengers Endgame, the uh, the movie from Fast and the Furious where Paul Walker fucking finally says goodbye to the franchise. Or when one of their parents dies, or best friend dies, and it's like, not even when their best friend dies, it's when their parent dies, when when their when when your grandparent or their parent dies. Okay, cool. Then they can get to cry. Paul Walker's final goodbye at the end of what the Fast and Furious Six or whatever, which one it is. Endgame. And when when <laughs> it's genuinely, you have permissional states where you're allowed to cry. If you're tired and you're emotionally damaged, let a fucking tear out. Show your emotions. You want to get on the you want the you want your partner, you want your girlfriend to understand you more. Show your vulnerability. I am literally giving you the keys to the castle right now. Show your fucking vulnerability and I guarantee fucking to you she will want to be with you forever do you want to know one of the things that i genuinely love with cal he's not scared to show his emotions because he knows for a fact i will call him out on his bullshit he knows it he fucking knows it he fucking knows it cal 
it, I, I, I encourage Cal to open up. If Cal gets emotional, I force him to fucking cry in front of me. I want him to. Or you just get attacked for it, for disagreeing. Just throwing it out there. But that's the problem. Guys get angry. Guys get angry, but nine times out of ten, a guy being angry isn't anger. It's it's upset. It's it's upset. It, it it's just gen, gen, genuinely them feeling inadequate. Guys getting angry is due to inadequacy and them telling the world that I'm a strong man and I'm allowed to be angry. It's like no, you're not. Anger is an emo is a powerful emotion. Anger is an emotion where someone has taken a life w which should only be used in a situation of someone has taken something from you. You have full permission to go ballistic. Someone has taken something precious from you. Go fucking nuts. Hi, hot dog. Yeah, I've been sick. I'm sorry. I am sick and my testosterone levels are up. I am very much up and down right now. <laughs> But yeah, guys, if you really want, show your horny side. No, show your emotional side. Show all of your emotional side. Show your vulnerability. I got a slight anger management problem. I, I did, I did when I was, I, I, I had, a, I had anger management problems for like six months when I was growing up. <laughs> Have you ever played Elden Ring? It's the most relaxing game on the planet. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Elden Ring is so relaxing. I'm actually planning to do a new game plus save. Try playing that one game by Bennett Foddy. I want to play the fucking Sword in the Stone game. Have you have you seen the Sword in the Stone game? It's so funny. Every time someone takes the sword out, they get to choose if they make the sword heavier or longer. And it's really funny because people just keep making it long. <laughs> it's so long now. No, I haven't. I haven't played Celeste. <laughs> oh, I feel like crap. I missed, I miss, I miss streaming. I miss streaming. I need my hormones back. I need, I need to feel like I'm not liquid living death all the fucking time. Why? Why? Oh, it's because you got amateur management problems. <sighs> Maybe don't break stuff. Maybe don't break stuff. Maybe, maybe, maybe don't break stuff. Learn to take your anger out with walks. I feel like crap. I've been better now. It's usually small triggers. Have you ever have you ever realized that it's really annoying and weird small triggers that tend to make things worse for you? I'm trying to get a clean background. You ever learned that? Have you ever figured out that it's just small annoying triggers? I punch the shit out of my bed now. I don't hit things. I haven't hit things in forever. I just don't hit things anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm so nauseous at the moment. Yeah, I... When I was growing up, I literally would punch walls. I punched solid walls because soft walls would have just Nope, it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, I might lie back down. 
So your hand to save a hand from pain, like punch a pillow. It's because of the games I play. Don't play games that get you angry. Don't play games that get you angry. You, do you want to know why I love Elden Ring so much? I love it because they're hard. You learn from every death. I do get annoyed because of lag issues. Like nine times out of ten in any video game, I die usually because of lag. I very rarely die because of the game what I'm playing lets me die under yeah. Like punching something, I just tense up in, into somehow helps. Uh, see, I just, I just, I just, I've just not been very well. Yeah, I don't, I don't get angry anymore. I get annoyed and I get tired. I don't get angry anymore. Hey, thank you guys for the follow, by the way. I'm sorry I haven't said anything. When I feel like punching something, I just tense up. Oh, I've been having uh, really bad sleep hallucinations again. I've been having really, really bad ones recently. Um, if you guys, you guys probably don't know this. Um, I have, uh, I get sleep hallucinations when I get stressed. Um, they're fucking horrifying. Think sleep paralysis, but you're still able to move, but the things in your dreams are basically manifesting in the real world. And your brain is confusing both. Uh, for funny story, my mum wanted me to have a punching bag, and I was all for it. Well, I went... And just a little kid destroyed an Xbox One controller and replaced that usually costs like 60, 70 quid. Scorpion, do you know what you turn around and say? Oh, you want a new controller? Got to work for that shit. Yeah, if a kid, here's the thing. You get a kid a brand new console, if he breaks that fucking controller, your response is, that thing costs 60 to 70 quid. I will not buy you a new one. You need to earn it. Actually, you know what you do is if it's your console or it's your console and then you got you have two controllers if they break one of them they don't get to have the other one it was another kid that broke someone else's controller have you seen the video of the kid that got angry at like angry birds or fortnite on their mum's phone snapped it and then just cried to their mum and went mum the phone broke i'm like you snapped it you little shit you actually broke the phone. This is why you don't give your kids a phone. Oh, I'm getting really shady. Oh, I'm bad. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, never give your kids a phone. Never give your kids a phone. I'm actually really on the fence about what I want to do. My brain really wants to get an iPad Pro. I want to replace the iPhone I have and just get a new get a new one and i'm thinking about getting the ipad pro with the cellular cellular sim capability because i know they have a model which does that i don't know how i just know i want to yeah i watched a kid on tiktok who let his cousin play fortnite got pissed and destroyed an xbox controller yeah your response is to quite literally turn around and say to them you owe me 70 quid or you owe me seventy dollars, and then when the kid's like, "Why?" It's like these cost seventy quid. You show them how much they cost, and say, like, "You broke my controller. You did it. I got it on video. You owe me this much money. You are not paying on this console until you get me a new controller." It's a situation of you break it, you bought it. And if the kid doesn't fucking get that, I'm sorry. They can shut the fuck up. 60 to 70 US dollars. You can get secondhand ones for not that much. But here's the thing. The consoles only come with one controller. Consoles only come with one controller now. I remember growing up when you got an Xbox, it would usually come with two controllers. Because of split screen gaming. Do you remember split screen gaming? I, re I remember split screen gaming. I miss split screen gaming. Split screen gaming was the shit. Like, seriously, like, holy shit. 
I treat my games, my controller, and my console as if as they are my pets or like they are cartoon characters. And in N64. I my first console would have been My first console would have been a Sega Mega Drive. Or a Sega Genesis if you're in the state from the States. Um my second console would have been a PlayStation 1. Then I wanted a PlayStation 2, but I got an Xbox Classic because I liked the look of Halo. I'd be talking to them like they are people. I, I'm a firm believer in that everything has a personality. Um, consoles have personalities, TVs. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a firm believer that all forms of technology has a form of, um, yeah. Yeah, the rules of split screen gaming is that uh, you're yeah, not to look at other people's screen. Problem is, is you can't not do it. The trick would literally be is no heavy sl split screen game. The the trick that we ran with uh, split screen gaming is don't don't do it too much. We actually had a rule was like split. Screen. You can watch other people's screens, but at the end of the day, it made you a worse gamer. It just made you way worse at it. Granted, this was before like aim assist was a thing. Kind of hard to do that when you when you use your peripheral vision. We call it screen hopping. I remember playing games and I didn't know who which controller I was. I, I didn't know which one one of the screens I was. So I ended up spending an entire game just screen watching other people. I ended up literally watching other people's screens the entire game because I just had no fucking clue. Um, I just had no clue which screen was mine. The problem is, is it wasn't like, um, it should have been like, for example, screen split in four, right? So four way split screen, four controllers all connected, all fun, all good. But here's the thing. When you join the multiplayer, it should have been player one. Or put one of the people you go A to draw you hit you go you, you, you go like A to join and then you go next put player two so you go um you click this one you go first then you go second you go third and then you go last that way you know where you are on the screen so you know which screen you're watching issue never was like that it was very much constantly shifting them around it, it should be one two three four and never was it was such crap. In Call of Duty split screening literally had cheat codes. <laughs> yeah, that was the problem. That was the problem. You always would forget which character you were, what character you were supposed to be. So you're just sitting there going, oh, okay. The trick, though, was to try to prevent people from doing split-screen gaming. Hi, Katie. Can you help a confused trans girl? Something happened on the weekend, and now I'm super confused. What happened? And the worst part about Diablo 3 car was that because I was often with slower walk speed, I kept getting dragged along because the camera was locked to us both. I slowed him down massively. Yeah. That's the problem though. That's even in Pro it's a play pro that's a problem. Even in games today, that's still a problem. Not everyone plays at the same speed. Like, I'm 80 hours into Elden Ring at this point, and I've only just gotten to Farmazula. Farmazula? Farmazula. I can't remember. The fucking floaty dragon place. Yeah, I've only just got there, and I'm like, oh, okay. Um. Yeah, so I've, I've only just got there. 
I'm loving the game, but I'm taking my fucking time with it. If I was playing with other people, their response would be, you're too slow. I'm like, no, I am not. I'm contending with my own issues and other things. Fuck you. I'm going at my own speed. I, I don't need you. I'll do what I want. <laughs> So you're a wonder. I'm clearing areas. I am not even joking. I have cleared every area. I have done every boss, every pickup, talked to every NPC, did everything. And I'm going forward. And when I hit a wall, usually a boss, I go, hmm, I'm going to go back and clear a section. So I'll clear a section, then I'll push forward in the story and go, I'm going to clear another section. And I just do that constantly. So I'm, a, I'm like right. At, I'm getting. I'm right at Fire of Missoula. I've basically done the entire map. I'm. I've got to finish off Volcano Manor, and I've got to do um the Halig Tree. But like, rest of the map, fucking done. Hundred percent done. I've done the um, Atlas Plateau. I've done the um, the uh, the Lorian Lakes. I've done. Uh, Weeping Peninsula, the rock fields, all of it. I've done the entire section, the entire game so far. I, I, I've done everything possible. Actually, I say that I've, I've got one dungeon I'm struggling with. Yeah, I've just been going through and clearing everything. I completed Rani's quest. I still need to go back and kill the dragon, which is by the entrance, though. But there's, like, four dragons. There's four dragons in such a small area. I should be able to do it, though. My gear is, like, maxed out. My gear is maxed out, and I'm, like, level 140. Yeah, I'm 140. I'm, sem I'm like, 80 hours in. You do the maths on how slow I've been. Yeah, most people about 80 hours in should be level, like, 220. And I'm like, oh, okay. Actually, I am struggling with, um, I am very much struggling with getting Tush. Fallout 4 VR scary, to be honest. I've never been interested in Fallout in VR. To be honest, I struggled with it in, I struggled with interest in Fallout VR in desktop, so yeah. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, I, I'm loving Elden Ring. I'm I'm loving it. I'm taking my time with it. But no, split screen gaming used to be the shit. I remember that growing up. That was just so much. It was so stupid and so fun. I wish I could play ER. What would you? Okay. Ugh, I feel like crap. Ba -da 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 -da. I wish I could play VR. Um, I recommend the Quest 2 if you really want a VR headset. If you want a VR headset and you've never got one. Bella, have you ever thought that you might just be pansexual and you're attracted to what makes you happy and not the sexual aspect? Like, it sounds really stupid. Um, it sounds really stupid, but a lot of the time when it comes to just general attraction um, is a struggle. General attraction is confusing and it's nothing to do with gender. There's no that I know you. I know you said there that I thought you were you thought you were straight, but it's more than likely that most trans people are pan. And if you don't want pansexual, it means it means you're attracted to what makes you happy. So go with what you feel is happy. You don't have to worry about being straight. If you want to be with a guy, be with a guy. If you want to be with a girl, you want to be a girl. If you're trans and you want to be with a guy, so be it. If you want to be with a girl, then so be it. You might find that 
you might be attracted to femininity, but you still like dicks. Vaginas are scary things. Sometimes, sometimes you might be scared of vaginas, love dicks, but hate the guy. Or love the guy, hate the dick, but like the vagina, but hate the female. It, you, yeah. I play play PlayStation VR. Didn't get motion sick at all. Uh, you're the chosen one. Like, uh, you only live once. Yeah, you only live once. Don't spend it. Don't spend your life wasting it trying to fucking um. Don't waste your life trying to achieve labels or live by labels. You will fucking hate your life. The reason why I tell people I'm Pan and I'm Polly is literally down to the. The reason why I tell people all the time um, why I'm Pan and I'm Polly is because I'm with someone that generally makes me happy. But in the past, I've been in relationships where I've been in a relationship where someone achieved, helped me feel emotionally fulfilled, but not physically fulfilled. Someone else helped me feel f physically fulfilled, but they fucking had no emotional down. No, they had no, no emotional state whatsoever. What would you? What would you if someone did this? Drops a drops a billion dollars I'd be amazed they managed to get that through fucking PayPal but with that money I if you want to know what I would do with a billion dollars I was like well first half of it goes to taxes so I only have 500 million um I take that money and then I'd um I buy me and Cal a place the dream place that we want to get the really nice bedroom deck it out really lovely bed we'd have two studio spaces in a spare bedroom we'd have we'd have the bedroom we, we'd have our bedroom and then like a, a never a, we'd have the bedroom on one side of the house and then two studio spaces for far away from each other so they don't interrupt with each other really lovely place downstairs lovely bed lovely place in general i would just go out i, I would go all out and just I'd set things up so me and Cal could have a comfortable life together, but I wouldn't stop streaming. I wouldn't stop streaming. If anything, I'd do more. I would... I'd upgrade my gear. I'd upgrade I'd upgrade my hardware. Um, I'd drop in to get... I'd upgrade all of my fucking hardware. Um, I'd go for my dream setup. Um, I'd get Cal's dream setup. I'd get his dream drum kit as well. Um... I do. I I would genuinely just. I if I got a billion dollars, well, five hundred million because of tax reasons. I would genuinely just. Um, I think I would. I just. Well, thank you, Bridget, for the sub. Twenty months. How have you been? Oh. Oh. Oh, he's running. Um, yeah, I think if someone dropped a billion dollars on me, my response would just be, get me and Cal a comfortable life. Get the, either build or find the perfect house for me and him. Buy it, upgrade it, make sure our internet is just fucking stupid. Get ourselves a Starlink, just in case the internet goes down. That way we don't lose connection. We just twin the internet. Um... Terrace, thank you so much for the 20 months. Yeah, I know I'd also do that. I would I would do that. I would I would I would try and live off of interest. I will say this though, do you not think that comp do you not think that banks should literally cap interest rates? Like basically say, no, you don't get interest rates from having this much money in your account. Sorry. <laughs> Please don't do this. I only need a hype train day one back after being sick for like over a week. I mean, very much all over the place. But yeah, with 500 million, I wouldn't know what to do. I think it would just be, I deck out my, I get myself a perfect, I, I, I'd get myself, me and Cal, a good place to live. Deck out both of our gear, get us 
both get both our dream setups with all of the best possible hardware i would literally be like i have money is no object let's <sighs> thank you jake for the fucking thousand biddies i really appreciate it oh god i got ideas for 500 mil I would just, I would just deck mine and Cal's place. I, I'd get a place for me and Cal. Deck it out. Um, get, do whatever the fuck I wanted. Uh, I've heard, I've heard about Pam, but I thought it meant feeling attracted to men, women, and non-binary people. I'm kind of scared of liking girls. Uh, what if my female friends start to think I'm some kind of predator? Bella, Bella, consider the following. They won't think you're a predator. If there's a lesb, at the end of the day, if they think you're a predator, they're probably the type of people who would walk into the guy's bathroom and in, 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 and intentionally try to do things to the guys who said no. Those are the, the people who, they won't think you're a predator. At the end of the day, don't give them ammunition and just live life to the, oh fuck's sake. Hi, video gamer. Why isn't that not triggered? I think it broke. I think my alert broke. Oh no. Wait, I remember. I think I know why it's broken. I think I know why it's broken. I might need to tweak. I need to tweak that. I'll do that after stream. Um, I'm gonna just one at a time. Them. There you go. I just did them and they're not triggering, are they? They're not putting the names. There we go. Would you try the Wi-Fi by Elon Musk? I'm fucking no. I'm I'm already doing the Twitter by Elon Musk. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a while. How you doing, Bridget? Thank you, Jake, for the five for the five gifted subs. Oh my back. His satellite internet. Oh, are you talking about? Are you talking about his um Starlink? Cause yeah, I understand Starlink. I would, like I said, I would um. Like I said, I would basically um, I deck out the internet for the house. Get like the fastest possible internet, even if it is business. Um, and then afterwards, I haven't slept in days. Bridget, go get some rest. Yeah, I would go. I'd I'd also get Starlink just to make sure that the internet is um where it needs to be. I'd also okay. This sounds pretentious as fuck. I would build a rack. I would get a rack for my house. I get a server. I get a storage and a server rack for the house, so I can manage um shit in the house like ten times easier. I would I would get a big server. I'd I'd want a big server. I think I'd want a big server. Subaru and go zoom zoom. I would see. I would have it so it would store the uh, so it would banish the internet for the entire house. Um, yeah, the it would it would manage the internet for the entire house, and then also. I would have a game rack. I'd have a game rack with like 10 terabytes of storage in it, in SSDs or NVMEs. And the whole response for it would be is, uh, if Cal wants to play a video game, storage rack. If I want to play a video game, storage rack. And the idea would be is that we would just have two accounts and then all the games on that. No, I'm a glutton for punishment. No, um, Bridget, if you're, if you haven't slept in days, you're not giving, you're not punishing your body, you are abusing it. That's a diff, there's a difference. Do not, if you don't sleep for six days in a row, you're aware that your brain, after three days, your brain's, your brain's activity starts to, um, starts to diminish and you actually start to get really bad, 
mental problems. Do it the Linus away and put all the PCs in the basement and run fiber optic thunderbolt cables everywhere. No, I'm not gonna do that. I still I still love PCs. I still love custom brick PCs. Um my general response. Yeah. Russian sleep experiment. Bridget, um your brain the 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 okay the lining of your skull the lining of your brain um there's a thin water membrane after 30 hours or uh, after like 30 or something hours the membrane becomes weaker because when your brain is active it swells it puts pressure on it after 30 hours the membrane becomes soluble your brain will start to develop you, you can literally die from your brain allowing in an infection which is somewhere else in your body somewhere else in your body you can have a small infection something as simple as like a small bacterial infection if you don't sleep for more than like two three days that small simple bacteria which your body can deal with fine can get to your brain and then that's it you could die within a few days yeah, the more it, it breaks down the water membrane. Bed to flush for the fatigue poisons out every night as well. Yeah. Yeah, go get some rest, Bridget. Bum 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 bum. Yep, you'll start hallucinating. You'll start hallucinating. Um, basic. I think it's like on day thirteen, you have no other option. Uh, on day thirteen, without sleep, you have no other option. Your body will just be like, "Oh, yeah, bye," and then that's it. You just drop dead on the spot. I think after like thirteen, it's either like after, it's either eleven or thirteen days, your body will just literally just drop to the floor. You will literally just after a, after that point, you will literally just on the floor you can get away with an hour of sleep a day you can get away with two hours of sleep a day but no sleep at all can kill you what i heard was the process the brain does while you sleep goes into hyperdrive after 30 hours awake therefore destroying your memories and brain cells yeah you basically it's the um when i get tired i start to slur my speech it's because my brain is starting to um mush itself i get sleep hallucinations so it the whole issue with sleep lack basically um or lacking sleep basically accelerates the decomposition problem well my soul is in shiver me timbers oh i've microsat for a few days for three hours a day and then you've slept you've just not slept 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 how many subs did we oh wait no yeah we, we we got like seven subs didn't we i was gonna say i'm gonna show you show choo choo <laughs> um but yeah after a few days after a couple days you do get um, bitch fatigue you got bitch fatigue. Micro slept. Yeah, micro slept. Uh, I'm. I see. The, the reason why I've been sleeping really badly. The DeLorean is going to be turned into an electric concept car. Fucking a. I'm hoping it's a Tesla. Thank you for the talk. I might actually be Pam. By the way, did you make your own avatar? Yes. Not one hundred percent from scratch. I bought the base, but everything else is basically made and Frankenstein together. Yeah, I got, I got, I got, yeah. I'm always here to talk to other trans people about um, that stuff. I know loads of, uh, I know loads of trans people have problems um, when it comes to, um, Wee. stupid springy thing. Ignore Bridget, they are horny on main. They want a bob. They want a bob and they basically b would throw money out of 
they'd th they throw money around to just uh, they 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 enjoy buying too much horny. <laughs> Love you, Bridget. <laughs> I think the DeLorean would work well as an electric car. I think it would. I think it would be cool. Not anymore. Oh, have you got that shit under control now? I'm glad you got that stuff under control, hon. Um, depends on what you're... It depends on what you're planning to link. I'm expecting brick. It's about the electric drone. I uh, drop it in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord and just put it in the Discord. And put it in the tech section. I think I should call it tech and tech and motor or some shit. Is it hard to make your own avatar? I joined a VR chat two days ago and tried to play it, but too shy when some people tried to talk uh, talk to me. Um, I have um, I have okay, Bella. I have a game development background. I have a three. I have a, I've got like twelve years of three D graphic background. So me, um, me basically um. Yeah, I've got 12 years of 3D experience background. So me making avatars and shit is just second nature. I spent years honing my skills. Um, it's not difficult. It's not impossible. Learning to Frankenstein is not hard. Um, I've taught Cal how to do it over like a couple weeks. Um, and he does most of it himself. He does the occasion have the occasional hiccup. But uh, in general, he's fine. If anyone wants me to... Uh, yeah, just drop it in the Discord. But no, it, it's time consuming. If you're if you're new to it, it's time consuming and tedious. But in general, it's not difficult. Yeah, I'm ill. I'm very. Bleh. Mm. Yeah, I'm not being well. I'm, I'm still not well. I want to, I want to try and get myself back into normality, but still horny, by the way. Just not now with girlfriends. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I spent the entire stream laying down. Yeah, it's tedious but not hard if you're. We are familiar with an editing program like Blender or Photoshop and so on. Yeah, if you if you really want to get yourself started, um, go GIMP for it, GIMP for image editing, um, and Blender for the three D stuff. You can do most of that stuff. If you want to make doing the texture editing easier, look at Bridge. It's part of the Unreal um, ecosystem. It's a texturing tool. You can use that for texturing um, stuff. Laying down is what one does in full body. This is true, and it also is what one does when they are fucking sick. Hey, forever. <laughs> yeah, I've, I, I've not been well. The whole, uh, the hormone shortage in the UK is fucking, yeah. Yeah, I've been sick. Uh, okay, uh, Bell, in the UK, there's a HRT shortage. I'm on half dose right now to make mine stretch out longer. Um, I feel like my, all, all my joints hurt. Like, every morning I wake up, I'm walking around my house, it fucking hurts. Um, anytime I eat anything, I'm nauseous as fuck. Um, I'm very foggy brain. I forget full as hell. Yeah, 
yeah, there's a HRT shortage in general. It's not it's not as bad in certain places, but the problem is, is in the UK we've got Brexit. <laughs> we got Brexit, and we're right next to a fucking we're wo- right next to a new war that's happening, which is all great. Um, but no, the develop the the um the manufacturing places are all up and down and shit. I'm gonna try a new pharmacy tomorrow. My hope is is that the pharmacy I go to will have it because it's a different it's a different loop of peoples. But yeah, I I I've I just missed streaming and marking. I'm sorry to hear that. I really hope you get your HRT soon and get better. I've been on hormones for like four or five years. I think this is my fifth year on hormones. Um fifth year? I think it's my fifth year on hormones this year, actually, yeah. So, um, as of August, I'll be five years on hormones. The problem is, is where I basically got ripped off of them, it fucking hit me like a truck. So, yeah, I'm up and down as fuck right now. If you want to keep connected and keep an eye on what's going on, then make sure you follow me on Twitter and join the Discord. Then you can keep up to date with the streams and also YouTube shit. I have video ideas, which I will be working on soon. I have pills as backup. We can't get pills in the UK. Everyone is on pumps unless you're on the old school stuff because of what you've been on before. Before they rolled out the new changes. Yeah, I've been very shitty. I've been very much in and out of bed the last couple weeks. Cal has been stopping me from getting into VR. In fact, this is the longest I've been in VR since my last stream. I'm trying to get my hands on my hormones, which is why tomorrow I'm gonna try the other pharmacy and be like, yo, can you get this? Because I kind of need it, because I feel like I'm gonna throw up every five seconds. I can't eat anything without feeling dizzy. By the way, if you want to help support me, I do have a Patreon. I have some awesome stuff on the way. You get early access to YouTube content. You get fun loody stuff for not much m- money a month. And it really does help support my stuff. Um, and because of all the shit going on with me and my hormones, it's honest to fuck. The easiest and most sensible way to keep me afloat without me dying in the process so i'm sorry for the advertisement but i really need it i really need the help i I need the help i i'm not i'm not exaggerating i hate feeling like this and i really don't want to ask it but i'm gonna be honest i thought i stride to not I try my hardest to not feel like I need to ask people for help, and I really, 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 really don't like doing it. Um, because I feel like I don't need to, but considering I feel like this month is going to be very up and down, if you really want to help support me, then please go check out my Patreon. I will be posting some new stuff on there soon, I promise. I actually had a shoot plan idea, which I'm gonna go with, but yes. I had to pay out a pocket of uh, 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 another pharmacy. I have to pay out a pocket anyway, but it's not much for me. It's like nine, nine, ten pound or some shit. Um, but yeah, if you really want to help me out, please go check out my Patreon. If you want to get the link, exclamation point Patreon. It really, really, really does help. <laughs> it really does. It. Re- I. I don't want to. I don't want to feel like I'm begging and stuff because I'm not. Um, I just want you guys to know that any and all support really does help me not feel like I'm dying. Is that the right link? I think I might explain my point, Pat. Oh, it's Eon. Patreon, not Patreon. It's Eon. I think you can go exclamation point support as well, and it will give you a series of links. I might be wrong on that one. Uh, Ah. But yeah. I've uh, been very sick. I'm very up and down. Cal can very much vouch for how shit I've been. Like, he's very much been stopping me. He's been very much stopping me from um, 
doing too much. And I'm pretty sure Cal is, if Cal is watching, he's probably getting annoyed at me for streaming this long. Uh, oh, here we go with my spelling. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. But no, I feel functional. No I! It's not got an I in it! It's Patreon! E-O-N, not E-I-O-N. <laughs> There you go, you got there. <laughs> yeah, it really does help support me. I'm dyslexic as fuck. I need to release the shirts. I need to get those shirts done. It's, I'm dyslexic as fuck. <laughs> you should see my handwriting. I want that one. You should you should see my handwriting. <laughs> Like, completely illegible. You should see my hand right here. And we're like, well, what? What? <laughs> Never spelled it before. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, I really do appreciate it. any any and all support you guys want to give. Uh -oh. Did I just enter? Don't worry, Neo. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just, I, I was having a, an emotional five. I, I, it's gonna happen. I'm very, very hormonal. I'm very horny. I'm very easily QQ cry cry time. I'm ill, okay? I'm on half my hormone dose. I'm gonna get frustrated. I'm very up and down. I'm very, very emotionally all up and down. It's horrible. Mm. But no, I have been. I, I I I wasn't expecting to be on this long. I was actually expecting to maybe do like an hour or so streaming, not three. It, Jesus Christ! Uh. Uh, I just miss streaming. I I don't know what else to say other than I genuinely. I genuinely love my job. I, I love being able to call this my job because you guys make it possible. But I genuinely love doing it. Um, and I hate not being able to do it from time to time. I miss... I miss seeing you guys. I miss interacting with you guys. I miss... I, I just love it. I, I love it. I, I love it. I don't think I could do any other line of work. I think any other line of work will just make me come straight back to streaming. And I'd feel like shit either way. <laughs> I'd feel like shit either way, but I don't care. I'd rather be stressed about this than stressed about that. I miss watching you. I haven't been on for like a week. I'm gonna try my hardest to get back into a regular routine, but be aware of this. Fitness Fridays aren't happening until I'm back with my hormones and I feel stable again. Streams are going to be very erratic in length and probably start times. I will try my hardest to start at the same time, but no promises. Um, YouTube content is very much going to be, I will post it when it's ready, not when the algorithm says I should be posting, because I don't give a shit. Um, I'd rather go for quality rather than quantity, if I'm honest. Um... Yeah, I'm, until I'm back on my hormones, it's very much everything's up in the air. Um, I'm going to try my hardest to do as much on Patreon. But I will try my hardest to stream as much as possible. It's not always going to be VR content. If you see me, or if, you, if you're a follower and you love watching my streams and you see me playing anything other than VR chat, please consider just dropping in, saying hi, catching up maybe dropping in on having a luck but don't be like yo they're not playing vr chat they're not playing vr chat i don't i don't give a shit bye don't don't be one of those people who are very much oh no they're not playing the normal game i don't want to give a shit power wash simulator we do need to finish off power wash simulator we're getting close to the end now 
Hi, Annie Fluff. How you doing? How's the pressures? It reminds me, are you on the Discord? I can't remember if you are. By the way, if you're on the Discord and you're frustrated and you can't get in the rule under the rules bit, you might need to wait five to ten minutes for it to go through. Just click the all the fucking emotes you'll get in eventually. Go for the check mark. Check mark, go for the fuck. Put you on as a radio. How are you? I am not well. I'm very sick still. I want to go for longer streams. I've been pushing for. Oh, yeah, I need to fix my ending soon screen as well, actually. Oops. Uh, but every every trans person in the streaming, every trans person in the VR chat community, which is a way higher number than you've realized, every trans person in the VR chat community, especially from the UK, is going to be going through the same shit I'm going through very soon. I am not in the server. Get on the server. Oh yeah, another thing as well, do not tell the streamer that you're, you're bored or you're going to go watch someone else. It really help, really fucks up people emotionally. Um, there's a, there is a genuine thing called viewer etiquette and I, I'd like to make a document on it. My tracking is going wonky. Um, let's see here. Oh my hell, it's f oh my lord, it's foggy. Is it foggy for you? Is it froggy? Is it froggy? Oh yeah, that's another thing as well. The where's Moon? The what? The, I love that. I love. Don't get me wrong. I love that AD has managed to develop a big meme around them. Love that. And then what would? What if Lola was behind you? I'd be like, I'd be surprised he got into my home world. You doing okay, hun? I'm functional. I am functional. And yeah, can't imagine how frustrating that could be. I didn't give a shit. I, I've grown, I, I've been streaming for about four, three, four, three, four times for three years, streaming four, five years at this point. I've already grown, I've already gotten my head around that. Uh... Anyway, because I feel like absolute dog shit thank you for the follow welcome to the stream i need to fix this screen i'm sorry it's not 100 percent here where's the chat have i got it on the wrong layer oh my god the chat's not there you are still here you are you are supposed to be here i need to fix this it should be here you should be here i don't know why i need to fix that I genuinely need to fix that. Anyway, I'm sending you guys over to Smiley. They were in the chat earlier. Um, it's not bugging. Stream's not bugging. It's just I I, I updated the overlays. I haven't been in VR, so I haven't fixed it. Um, I'm sending you guys over to Smiley. Make sure you go give him some love and affection and the care. I will be back on Friday, as long as I'm not throwing up. As long as I'm not throwing up, I will be back on Friday. I promise. I love you guys so much. Thank you everyone for joining me today. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for the hype train as well. It really does help me out. Stay, and I, get, I love being able to say this again. Stay safe, stay awesome. Remember to tell somebody you love them. 
and make sure you, yeah make sure you tell someone you love them okay i will see you next time Mwah. bye guys